Hi. How are you? This is going to be for my Scorpios. And this is going to be for the 13th through the 19th of November. So Scorpios, this one is going to be for you. The deck that I'm using is going to be my Affirmators Tarot deck. And Scorpio, this is for you, okay? Four of Pentacles, I see that you're saving money or you're hoarding it and tight. I do see fire energy in your space here. Um, that's a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. Four pentacles. I am hungry. The queen of wands. <laughs> the two of pentacles. The four of wands. See, so you want to relax. You're feeling a little off balance where money's concerned, maybe. The Knight of Cups, you're looking for something. That's usually like emotional. Water is about emotions. Whatever it is, it looks like it's coming pretty fast here. The Eight of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. This could be your energy. Could be money coming in. Or it could be someone in your circle who is either a Virgo or Capricorn. Or a Taurus. I see that you're going to have some communication. And you're looking and you're waiting for something. I got the Queen of Pentacles. The King of Swords. That's going to be some very straightforward communication you're going to receive. And there's something that you're waiting for. Or you're looking for so this is the deck that I'll use to clarify it says tarot decks and it says cards with meanings and I love them so the four of pentacles hey. four of Pentacles. Let's see what's going on with finances. Stop
Who is this Pisces? Or Scorpio? Or Cancer? It's a very emotionally balanced person. They came on top of this money thing here. And the Four of Pentacles. Page of Swords. You're having some new ideas. You might be receiving news or information, messages you've been looking for. Messages you're receiving is about love. It's from that King of Cups there. Whatever that water energy is. What's going on with this fire sign? Is that your personality? Are you a little stubborn? Fiery also. Nothing wrong with that. Wishes are going to come true. We've got Ten of Cups. The Four of Swords. You're going to be resting and you're going to be deep thought. You're going to be thinking about something. Or someone. That water energy there. And you're going to start making plans, darling. If you're looking forward to it, are you going on a trip? Might be travel. Travel plans? Let me know. If you're thinking about it, go. Have fun. You only come through here, hopefully only one time. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Have fun, darlings. Have fun. You know, good fun. Love will conquer all. So the two of pentacles. You're thinking about the past? You got some memories. Or did you just receive a gift? This is the six of cups. Something from your past you're thinking about. You might have just received a gift. <sighs> Whatever it is, darling, it's putting you on to a new phase in your life. You need to forgive. It's a judgment card. Either forgive you or forgive a person, the person. But something is renewing. It says rebirth. Rebirth. And I got the Seven of Pentacles. So the little off balance you are with the money. You'll be okay. You work very hard. You will see your rewards. You will see your rewards financially, okay? So if you're a tiny bit off balance with money, there's nothing to worry about here. Now let's see the four of ones. Oh, four of ones. I got the emperor. Stability, a father figure. Four of ones. On top of the four of ones, unified love, partnership, mutual attraction. This is the two of cups. And this is the queen of cups, which is you Scorpio also. 
You're very compassionate, calm, nurturing. <laughs> You're going to find unified love. I think you already found it. There's somebody here. It could be this water energy. But they're pretty grounded. They're very balanced and, you know... You are all up there. Or this love is going to balance you and ground you. It's going to be a good love. Give yourself a chance. You deserve it. Stop beating yourself up, babies. What are you waiting for? The Knight of Cups. The Knight of Wands. Ah, something passionate. Mmm. Is he charming, sexy, and unpredictable, or she? <sighs> oh. They got a lot of energy, passionate energy. So do you. The Queen of Wands. Confident, independent. Stubborn. And you got her up there and she came right above, below that card there. You're determined. With all what's going on and the possibilities, why are you all in your head? Stop doing that, darlings. Sleep when you're supposed to sleep. Stop worrying. You got a lot of trauma, a lot of despair, and a lot of stuff keeping you up. You need to. I got the Nine of Swords. Baby, stop doing that to yourself. What are you confused or worried about? Or babies? My darlings. My loves. <laughs> The Eight of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Wands. Ace of Cups, love, compassion, creativity, new feelings, spirituality, intuition, new baby. Proposal or marriage. Ace of Cups. Stop worrying. The King of Swords, I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords. Whatever is coming. It says truth seeking. You're a fast thinker. You're very ambitious. You can start moving. Think in the direction of love. The reason why you're not moving is because you had some kind of painful ending. This could be before or prior to this water energy. Painful endings. It's like rock bottom. Like you were so devastated. You were hurt so hurt but no matter you still you, you should still give yourself a chance you know to be loved and love start loving yourself start taking care of you queen of pentacles got the nine of wands The Ace of Pentacles and the Star card. So you got one of uh, you got Star card. It's a really beautiful card. One of the most beautiful cards in the deck. 
nothing but hope and healing and faith. You got the nine of wands here. This courage. You're gonna find you have your defenses up for some reason. Like you're stopping something. And it could be because of this painful ending up here. Let your guard down. Excuse me. And you're going to have abundance. It's either going to be new opportunities, new career, or financial opportunities. You're going to get some kind of new venture and you're going to have prosperity. It's the Ace of Pentacles. Then the Star card. <clears throat> you're going to have good fortune. This is a good omen. That communication that you're going to have is going to tell you about love and happy family. I got the Ten of Cups. I got the Five of Cups. You feel empty. You're going to move on and find peace, okay? But you're going to have a happy family. You need to believe this. You need to forgive yourself. There's something you're going through that's making you very sad. Something to do with an air sign. Air energy, maybe. This painful ending has to do with this King of Swords. This masculine air engine, um, which is going to be a Gemini, a, Lib a Libra, or an Aquarius, possibly. Or somebody who's very good at communication. You need to accept it. You need to move on from those thoughts. It's the past. Leave it, let it be. Um... They lied to you. And now you're to stand still. I got seven of... Seven of swords. I got the hangman. And the knight of wands. I mean, sorry, the king of wands. Is that telling me how stubborn you are? <laughs> Scorpio, you're overcoming your challenges, okay? You're going to overcome your challenges. You're going to stand still right now. You think someone lied to you and everything. and you, But there's someone coming, someone who seems that they really care about you. I do see that you had a painful ending. It could have been with this air sign person because I do see you've accepted it. But you need to give yourself a chance to love again, okay? You deserve it. Come on now. Not bad cards all in all. You're going through a little bit of something. I think you'll be fine. You will be fine. Just know. Good Lord, I'm telling you, I ain't lying here. I heard my door open. I heard my door open. I thought it was my mother, so that's why I did that. <laughs> oh, Anyway, part of the job. <laughs> I love you guys. 
I thank you so very much. Or that could have been my dog moving and I just hurt. That's what it is. Uh, so, don't be too hard on yourself. I'll see you soon. And give that love some, give that love a chance, okay? You never know where it might take you. <laughs>